Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beehive. We're on the covered garden. I figured it's pretty fitting. I can't even afford this guy. He's $10. Oh, that's not it. He's $15 too much. Nothing a little cheating ain't ever fixed. Now, honestly, I don't know how this map works. I guess I can only go where the glass is not covered. So we'll just put this guy in the back for now. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just a village as far as I can tell. Okay, it's shooting out bees. Oh, that's actually dope. It's shooting out like real bees and then they fly. And then I don't know where they go after that, honestly. Hopefully to be heaven. Oh, I can't upgrade him when the glass is covering it, bro. That's actually trash. I wish I would have known that. Noon? Known. All right, well, I can get an upgrade now. We got a few upgrades to choose from. We got large swarms, slightly increase in swarm size. Swift strikes increases the flying speed and stinger darts each uh, damage. Each bee does more damage, but only slightly. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. I think I'm going to go for large swarms and swift strikes. I'm going to see if hopefully... Oh, man, I thought I could cheese it just by having it open. But no, I, I think I'm just gonna die here. Let me give, let me give myself like another hundred lives. Matter of fact, let me give myself a few lives because uh, I'm kind of stupid. I'm gonna have to leak a little bit. I chose a bad map for this. All right, we're back on Henge this time. I figure this is a better map for something like this. I got large swarms once again, and I guess I'll put my free dart monkey over here. I want to have the upgrades on the left side so that my fat face is not covering it. So what else have we got? We've got stinger darts and swift strikes. Okay, damage and speed. I guess I want more damage. I don't know why I would want more flying speed. Okay, that is not slightly though that is doing two damage per thing that's double the damage that's perfect though because i do want swarms fury which increases the attack speed i could use that greatly right now so as far as i can tell yeah this is like attack shooter sort of i don't know it's like a b tag shooter i don't really know how to feel about it but i think i'm gonna get another one because this guy's kind of caca solo so let's put down another one right here and this one i mean i don't think yeah i can't reach that so i'm just gonna have to open it on the right side we can try for this middle path i might as well agile swarm the swarms curve more aggressively towards targets what a weird like thing to do also yeah look we are actually leaking badly here i don't know i'm hoping that it can clutch up let's get agile swarm just to see what it does i don't know i can't really see much of a difference between having it and not but who knows maybe the middle path is goaded and i'm just an idiot but uh let's see what great swarms does modest increase in swarm size and the beehive has a greater range i don't know what they mean by modest but i mean i could use any upgrade at this point because i'm leaking badly all right let's get it great swarm over here we got a little tiny baby range and okay he's shooting out how much is it we can check 15 bees at a time that's not bad the normal thing just does eight so this is technically double yeah about as close as we're gonna get bro i, I like actually need a spike factory or something because this is getting crazy okay let's put this guy down here it is stupid how much we're leaking and neither of these guys even see camo but what do we have for the third tiers we've got hornet swarm well this is a long one bees are replaced with hornets with significantly more damage and attack speed but they have a small chance of causing critical hits and they can pop lead that sounds like a deal to me. Hopefully we can get this before round 28. Okay, perfect. And we've got Great Swarm, so it does 15 of these little hornets, at least it's supposed to. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully it does more damage than it's doing right now. Whoa, okay, I saw that. It did like the Adora hit thing. That was kind of cool. So they can hit leads though, which is good. I don't know if it's reliable, but it seems to work for now. And we had the bottom path one too that I didn't even look at, but I don't know, maybe I'll get to it. But let's get, um, you know what? Let me look at the middle path first. Wasp Swarm, bees are replaced with wasps wait is this not wasps no this is hornets okay so instead of hornets we've got wasps here that have more pierce and agility and they can temporarily stun balloons and pop camo okay i'll take it that actually sounds like a pretty good deal i don't know if we want more of these or if we want uh stronger ones i think we want more of them because great swarms is really good like from eight to eight whoa wow i've been stuttering all day like all week too but um this goes from eight to 15 which i want that and now they're kind of holding their own they, they leak in a single red balloon, which isn't that bad. But I do want another one of these uh, bee towers down. So this time we'll go for large swarms and great swarms. And now we have got honey bees. They produce honey when they pop a balloon, significantly increases projectile count and range, and starts generating honey for extra income. Okay, honey is money. I don't know how important that is at this point because uh, we kind of are dying and I need to pay for this spike factory to be good. Let's try to get up a spiked balls before round 40. Okay, yeah, so we will win. In. We did pop the Moab with only these three, which, I mean, that's kind of a lot of money I spent to pop a Moab and not even get the ceramics, but we should be fine with the spike balls as the backup. I guess we'll get honeybees. I mean, money couldn't hurt. Okay, that is a lot more range, and there's 27 projectiles. Okay, that's huge. We'll get Swarm's Fury on that. This way, we do two damage with 27 projectiles. That should help out a lot with group balloons. 
Camo is another story. Honestly, might be time to get up a real village just over here. Maybe I should have done that a while ago. I don't know, but I do kind of need a radar scanner. And I'm not sure how much money this guy's making or how he makes his money. I think it's sort of like um a rubber to gold, if I had to guess, or maybe like a, a Benjamin's thing. I, I don't really know what's going on here, but generally looks like every pop or so he makes more money. That's scary. What's going on here? Are we dead? Oh, uh, no, but we're close. All right, I gotta get up like an actual banana farm over here and just start getting up marketplaces. One, because I need the lives. Two, because I need the money. Three, because I just continued. So this doesn't even matter anymore. Let's get some actual damage. How about it? We got Wasp Storm, which is only 1890. All right, so this is a cheap one. Greatly improved piercing targeting efficiency. The paralysis effect is stronger, lasts longer. All beehive sour storm gain one pierce and one damage while in the range. I'll take it. I will gladly take it. That is free. Okay, deadly buzz. Greatly enhanced damage. Hornets cost extra damage against Moabs. I'll take it too, also. And we got Honey Deluge. Let me put this one on the left greatly increases honey production projectile slow balloons due to sticky honey i'll take it i gotta take as much as i can get here because oh my goodness we're still losing oh and that's not good regens either oh my goodness these guys suck let's get jungle drums on them maybe that does more better or something i don't know also i don't know might be worth mentioning this is a support tower i don't know what it's supporting at all i think it's just because it's yellow and it fits with the card but like i don't know oh my goodness these are so expensive too the cheapest one is twenty seven thousand dollars, and you can't even see it it's right there i don't really know what to get up for more damage i assume the deadly buzz because it has the highest pop count is the best but it's also been around the longest i don't know we're gonna try out for another one we'll put this guy uh, we'll put him right here i think this is a decent spot let's try to go for deadly buzz and great swarms so now we got two of this guy hopefully he does more better damage because if not then i'm really gonna be at a loss um we can try to get up another honey deluge i don't know more money more better uh -huh. i mean this guy's made us two thousand dollars which really isn't that bad for the investment i think i'm still gonna need a banana farm regardless so let's just get up a little farmer right um what's a good spot like right here yeah that's good okay we just died on round 61 to a whole smorgasbord of balloons i don't even know how we're gonna counter this honestly because we just can't pop balloons at all like this tower low-key kind of sucks right now low-key i don't know it'll get better when we get the paragon and we start getting a degree like a billion and stuff but right now kind of trash oh yeah round 63 we're not beating this oh my goodness um can a fella catch a break bro oh, my goodness all right spike storm should save us here uh, no it didn't you're joking spent like eleven thousand dollars on this idiot and i just didn't do anything with it all right i guess i'm just gonna use the ability sell him and go for spiked mines that should be better how is spiked mines cheaper and better than a freaking 240 spike factory ability i don't know but let's get up a brf because i need money badly and i'm not cheating by getting multi-shot and then making it make a whole bunch of money for me i'm not doing that all right well now that we got a little bit of money let's go ahead we'll try out monkey's delight because this is the money path maximizes honey production range and increase the number of bees to 60 that's a lot of bees the honey is a stronger effect and bees create temporary honey tracks on the trap on the whoa when they die whatever it's just acid pool basically or balloon liquefier i don't know i'm not seeing it yet uh it does look like we're making a good bit of money i don't see any traps that they're laying down though i, I don't know maybe we're not popping enough to get that let's get hornets to little nest fury unleashes unending powerful hornet swarms that deal massive damage and inflict frequent high critical damage i'll freaking take that and you know what we'll delete our other two in honor of getting the last tier five which is going to be the wrath of the wasps wow this one's really long it literally goes off of the border okay so it stuns bigger balloons it gives more buffs and it gives more buffs again i freaking take it so now we've got all tier fives of this guy i believe yeah because we got the paragon available to us so i think we're just gonna chill for right now we're gonna delete this we're gonna delete this we've got 100 lives let's see how far this can survive maybe not that far actually because we're already leaving leaking but i don't know maybe we get a little bit lucky um i'm gonna keep this village here because we just need it like I i'm desperate for any damage this tower can do yeah we died on round 75 whatever let's freaking continue and start going up on the paragon journey ladies and gentlemen we've got the hive mine right here it's just the hive i don't know no money to him whatsoever let's just go ahead and do it oh my goodness it's a spike factory we have a degree one beehive hive mine tower now this guy's making a crap ton of money he's doing a lot of damage he's got like this magnet Magnified Adora attack, which I really like. He's a spike factory too, by the way, which is really cool. I feel like the spike factory just does not get used enough in Paragon. So seeing the spike factory, I mean, oh my goodness, makes my heart melt. And it's got like a golden glow to it. I don't know. I really
really like it. Definitely one of the top tier towers, the Spike Factory, and this guy seems to be doing a crap load more damage than any combination of Beehive Towers that could ever have possibly been. Let's delete our farm, by the way. We really don't need it. So right now, I, I feel like I'm seeing the money go down every so often. Um, I don't know. Maybe I was just tripping that one time, but it looks like he's making us a crap ton of money. Look, it's round 90 right here. We, uh, oh, wait. Never mind. That was a bad metric. That was a bad metric. I think it's not by round. I think it's just by pops. So yeah, this round, he just gave us 20,000, 40,000, damn, $60,000 in one round. But on a round without balloons, he's not going to make that much. It seems. I don't know. But he's making us a lot of money. Let's go ahead. Um, You know what? I'll try for round 100 because we should be fine until round 100, right? Yeah, we are absolutely popping everything. We should pop the BAD just fine. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But I want to put my money at zero here just to see. Okay, yeah, we get a crap ton of money off of pops. Oh my goodness. I wonder if we get a uh, monkey city. Oh yeah, paragons don't get buffs. What am I trying? I wanted to see if we got a monkey city. Maybe we could buff the money it makes, but as if it even matters, but it's a paragon. It doesn't do village buffs or any buffs as a matter of fact. I think it's like one or two buffs maximum, but let's see how far this guy survives. Let's take a look at the stats too. All right, so we got a rate of 1.13 with 14 pierce, 30 damage, and a pretty big range. It's like big enough, but he's shooting out 60 of these projectiles every single time, which means he's technically doing 1,800 damage, which is a lot of damage. Let's see if he survives round 140. This is a good test. Okay, we're already dead actually, but you know, maybe the degree one just isn't that good. I've also only got two continues in me, so I better freaking use them sparingly. Or I could just, okay, maybe not negative. I could just do this. All right, so it doesn't look like the degree one actually does anything against the fortified BAD. Like it just doesn't do that much damage. I mean, it popped the normal BAD on round 140, but the fortified BAD is gone. So let's try degree 100, right? This is the maximum that you're ever gonna get, at least in vanilla for the B tower, which you're not getting in vanilla. I don't know what my point was, but this is basically the ex ex whoa, estimated maximum for the beehive. And it should pop through this fortified BAD. Yeah, we are good against it. And we didn't even leak to the ceramics, which is kind of a surprise, honestly, because this guy's not too great. I don't know. Maybe he is great. He just hasn't built a great rep, in my opinion. But we'll see how far this guy survives. And he honestly already died because he just lost 160 lives. So uh, I think it's time to go a little higher. Let's go ahead. 10x this bad boy. Degree 1000 beehive. Now we should be getting into some good territory because this guy should be doing an insane amount of damage. You can already see he's not having trouble with any balloon, really. We'll put it on round 140 again just for comparison and yeah he smokes everything right in the entrance doesn't even get a chance to come out so we'll try round 200 this is basically a scaled up round 140 are we able to beat this you can see we're getting a crap ton of money every time he shoots which does verify that he gets money based off his pops and he just destroys that fortified bad because why not now honestly like yeah we won 200 i understand that but honestly this makes this guy a really good late game tower um if he did more damage but he did just leak on round 200 103 leak 300 lives which sadly is enough to kill you and then some so i mean you know no harm in a degree 10,000. i mean why not but yeah point is this guy gets money based off the pops but you get less money per pop as the game progresses so this guy's kind of a nice balance to that you know i've already got 26 million dollars i don't even know what i could spend that on probably a lot of rays of doom but we got to put this guy in a little bit more challenging of a round because obviously round 212 is going to get absolutely smoked by a degree 10,000. so we'll put it up uh we'll put it up at 300 how about that? I was gonna do like 340, but okay, maybe I should have done 340 because this guy is absolutely blowing these balloons out of the water. Or I guess out of the sky because they're in the sky because they're balloons. We'll try round 340. Yeah, you can see it's definitely stronger than round 300, albeit not strong enough. So let's try round 400. Why not? Screw it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. It's actually smoking round 400 too. Look at that money go up. Oof, and we got my engineer profile picture. That is kind of dope. Shout out to the 003 double gun engineer, bro definitely a sick upgrade also i think we just died to a fortified ceram and then we just died to another one okay so <laughs> it's already time for a freaking degree 100 000. these the problem with this guy is that he's just not fast enough to attack the ceramics warranted i didn't give him enough space so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get up another tier fives or another set of tier fives over here and this map does kind of suck for what we're doing but let's just go ahead and get up another beehive tower put this guy to degree 10 000. i think this should give him a better chance of living because he he can see everywhere. Um, also, I think it was a degree 100,000, not a degree.
three ten thousand yeah this makes far more sense so now this guy can see to the left middle right he should be able to see over here i'll put a dart monkey over or i'll put an ancient monkey or that's attack shooter but whatever yeah he can barely see the end over here so he can nip at any balloons that he needs to get at and this guy should theoretically be able to be like around 500 all right let me put my lives all the way to a normal oh i just took a screenshot i didn't even know i could do that with f12 we've got over a billion dollars whoa and this guy has practically made a billion dollars yeah wow this is a strong dude Okay, but at degree 100,000, you should be strong. Thankfully, it looks like, yeah, he's strong enough to beat round 500 without any ceramics leaking by. It seems like that's the biggest problem with this guy, is that he just kind of leaks out ceramics. So we'll try round 600. I don't know. The, the speed scaling is just going to get so bizarre that, like, I, I feel like a ceramic's just going to pop out and absolutely destroy us. We do still have 10 million lives, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. We do have negative money, though. So this guy's made over $2.1 billion, technically technically over 2.4 billion dollars but it's not like i can see that without pressing on him okay we beat around 600 let's take a freaking look at around 700 i don't know right now i'm just kind of seeing how fast things get up until it's too fast for the degree hundred thousand and then i'll just upgrade him to a million honestly i kind of want to try this guy against an elite tier 5 blunarius because that'd be kind of cool damn we beat round 700 too okay this guy's kind of proven himself though because i mean the jump between 10,000 and and a hundred thousand is a lot but i don't know if it's like 250 rounds worth we'll try around 777 because you know we love god here and holy is this round laggy oh my goodness this i don't know what's really lagging here i don't know if it's just the amount of balloons i don't know if it's the attacks we didn't change the degree yet but i think we're beating this pretty easily because nothing's made it that far the ddts do get a little far because you know they're fast and they're beefy they're ddts what do you expect but yeah we beat that round all right let's go to something more challenging we'll try uh we'll try 900 we can skip 800 i don't think 800 really matters all that much and we're even beating the fortified bad's that's pretty impressive yeah this degree 100,000 is no joke compared to the 10,000. we've gone up like maybe 500 rounds or so and i mean we're fine i haven't even leaked to a ceramic oh my goodness i got a glue gunner all right now we can try round a thousand but i'm telling you a ceramic or something is gonna leak and it's not gonna be beautiful something's gonna happen something's gonna go down and we're gonna have less than 10 million lives we could even die or maybe not all right bro that's insane he beat round 1000 without leaking a single life at this point i might as well just upgrade him to freaking degree 1 million and i mean if the degree 100,000 can destroy round 1000 i don't even want to know how far this guy can go it's year 2024 right now at least so let's try out round 2024 the scaling from here is ridiculous oh yeah so much so that a ddt just flew by ceramics just fly by like it's nothing but i don't think i'm gonna worry too much about that instead i think i'm gonna worry about destroying the bigger balloons because you know at a certain point things just get way too fast for projectiles to even catch up with but right now oh my goodness dude the amount of attacks this guy spews out and i can't even bother faster forwarding because this happens and then i just get i just crash the game okay i faster forwarded for like a fraction of a second man like if this is how laggy the tier 1 million is how bad is the degree 1 billion it can't it can't be that bad but like it might be really worse I don't even know when because we're still crashing, but he beat round 2024, so I'll take it. Hopefully, that means we all beat round 2024 this year. I actually just gotta, like, have the game paused for a little bit because it is breaking my computer. I had to turn off auto start because I want to finish this video out with a bang, but oh my goodness, this guy is already banging enough. Wait, pause. All right, we beat round 2025. The degree 1 million is already breaking my freaking computer, so let's just do it. As many zeros as we can go degree 1 billion i don't know what that metal noise was but here it is this is the degree 1 billion and it's doing so much damage that it's negative as per usual but what i like to notice about these guys is that even though he's doing negative damage he's doing so much negative damage that he's doing positive damage and he is somehow destroying every balloon on the screen right now and uh we're starting to lag out a little bit okay yeah no that that makes perfect sense actually 